What's going on everyone? In this video we're going to take a look at cleaning up some of the bloatware garbage that comes pre-installed on the Note 7. This will work for any variation of the device. Sprint, T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon, whatever. The way you get these bloatware apps off your device, or at least hidden from sight, is find the app you want to get rid of. In this case, a lot of them are in this AT&T folder already. Um, there's a few ways you can do this. One is basically just hold on the app and then drag it over to disable and then you just go to disable and that's it the app is no longer there it won't run in the background if it's something you don't use this is a really nice option for getting rid of stuff another way you can do this is let me go back here uh, from the app drawer again I just went to the apps and then hit the little three dot menu here and then go to edit if it's on the main app drawer you can just hit the minus button or if it's in a folder just go to open folder and then hit the minus button and again disable. This is a lot easier if you want to disable multiple apps and it also saves you the time of you know can I even disable this app or not. If it's got a minus sign it can be disabled or uninstalled. So I'll go ahead and get rid of all these and again this is totally up to you. If you use some of these then feel free to keep them on your phone but if you don't use them then this will help clean up your home screen, get rid of these apps that the carriers in their infinite wisdom decided to pre-install on the phones for you. So yeah, that's the process. Pretty simple. Like I said, a few ways to do it. Uh, if you want to re-enable the app for some reason, go ahead and show you how to do that. Go to your settings, and then applications. And then from the applications, we have this little uh, drop down here. Select that, and you could say disabled. And this shows you all the apps that you've disabled. Re-enable them, simply click on the app and then hit enable. So it's enabled now, so let's go to the home screen. So it's back on our device, and again, you can either do edit or just do that for onesie twosies. But if you want to do multiple apps, there you go. Quick look at cleaning your device up a little bit. Hope this video is helpful to you. Make sure to stay tuned for many more tutorials, videos of this nature for the Note 7 as well as many other devices by hitting that subscribe button. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for me, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and Instagram, or just leave me a message in the comment section down below, or on my YouTube channel proper on my home, or on my homepage. Like I said, I hope this video is useful for you, and I'll see you next time. Take care.